want to go back to our breaking news story uh, of that major derailment from Metro North. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell just arrived on the scene. Janelle, what can you tell us? And we are just south of the Spite and Dival station where you can see emergency crews have this entire area cordoned off as they rush to help the injured. Just moments ago, we shot some video that we want to show you. And from that vantage point, you can see it appears that four Metro North train cars have derailed. The cars rolled over right off of the tracks and onto the ground here. And according to the FDNY, there are a number of injuries. Several people heard on impact, and it appears that some of these injuries are very, very serious. This happened just after 7 this morning. A massive response by police and firefighters rushing to get to the scene, having to navigate not only the tracks and the surrounding brush to get to the people trapped on the train. Again, four Metro North cars have derailed at this point, according to the FDNY, several injuries. And you'll remember it was nearby the Spite and Dival station where a freight train derailed here last summer. In that case, no one was injured. But unfortunately today, a much different outcome. As you can see, this is still very much an active scene as firefighters and police rush to those trains to rescue the people who are still trapped inside. We will keep you on the posted on the very latest as we get more information. For now, that's latest live here in the Bronx. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. And Janelle, I do want to ask you one question from that picture you sent in. It looked like one of those cars was almost ready to go into the river. Can you describe a little bit more about what you saw there? Yeah, and we shot that video and those pictures from above the Henry Hudson Bridge. So we had a pretty good vantage point to see uh, where those cars rolled off of the tracks. And as you mentioned, one of the train cars appeared to be very, very close to the river. And that's the challenge for firefighters and police at this time, getting to those people who are still trapped inside those cars. And again, as we mentioned, the injuries appear to be very serious. Do we Andrea? have... Janelle, one more question. Do we have any idea how many people were on that train? No, it's not clear at this time how many people were on board, but you know, it's a weekend morning. A lot of people are coming back from their holiday travel. So you would assume that there might be more people than on a typical Sunday morning. But as we got here to the scene, one person said, thankfully, it's not a weekday morning when you know those trains would have been packed with commuters. Okay, Janelle, thank you so much. And for people just tuning in, we do want to get you up to speed. Again, a major train derailment just south of the Spite and Dival uh, section of the Bronx. We will have more updates. No word on exactly how many people were injured, but we do know reportedly there are several serious injuries. We will bring you more as we get it.